at the end of the day, even if, even if it go away, people will still have it in the back of their head and say, yo, Asafa is this person and Asafa don't take care of his kids and all that stuff. Track and field star Asafa Powell has finally broken his silence in relation to matters pertaining to child support. Hi again and welcome. This is Links 007 TV. Let's talk and we'll be right back with the details to come. If it's the first time you're watching, please do the golden rule and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and click on all so you're always updated with the latest report. We'll be right back after the break with the details. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Links 7 TV. Let's talk. Over and over again, we have seen the reputation of our athletes, our musicians and people of high figures being tarnished on social media. However, this one is none other than one that took place recently, which features our own track star, Asafa Powell, and he has actually broken his silence in relation to matters pertaining to child support. But before I even get into the details of what we want to talk about, he actually shared some very important points in his video and actually tried to clear the air in relation to matters that has been out there for some time tarnishing his name. But when we look on these high profile truck stars, the musician and people of fame, in general these are the things that happen most of the times and some of the time based on the wealth of these people others will try to tear them down for their own personal gain and despite the fact that they try to live a life that is good per se many are not of the opinion that they are doing what they are supposed to do but with that said we have to think about the life of these individuals, considering the fact that these are still human. They are only out there in the public light just because they have some fame and some level of popularity out there to the mass of people. But as half a Paul took the time to just share his side of the story, and this is actually the first time he's actually opening up about what really happened and what led to these rumors being circulating on social media about him but i could not go on without not putting this out out there because guess what at the end of the day people are out there spreading misinformation about this individual and some of the time those misinformation they are spread even more than the positive things that are being said about certain people at certain time but as half a point to the time out in order to just reflect on what he said was just misconceptions out there and he actually cleared the air in relation to many matters that people were having or many misconceptions that people were actually having about him. So I really want to share his video with you right now, right here on Links 7 TV. However, when we look on these people of high fame, and people of popularity. We have seen females throwing themselves at this individual over and over again, just in order to maintain that stability in life. And based on what this individual stated in this video, and I'm speaking no other than Asafa Powell, it seemed as if the female in question was just after his money, nothing else. But I don't want to really divulge much about that just now. I'm just going to give you a peek of the video and let you say what you have to think about the video in the comment section. So let's go over to that. I'm not the type of person to come on social media and, you know, just put my business out there and, um, you know, just talk, talk, talk and counteract everything that people say and re reply to people, comments and all that stuff. But this thing been lingering in the media for too long too long you know my silence not helping you know as figure i would just stay quiet just stay out of this and it would go away but 
at the end of the day, even if, even if it go away, people will still have it in the back of their head and say, yo, Asafa is this person and Asafa don't take care of his kids and all that stuff. <coughs> and who was supposed to come for it, come forward and clear up this, they're not going to do it because this is the type of, of things they like, you know, they, they thrive off social media, um, negativity and all of, this, all of these things. So they're not going to come forward and clear this situation, clear my name because they, because Asaf are going like him too perfect and Asaf are going like him this and that. So this is, you understand? So <clears throat> the media have it to say that, firstly, media have it to say that my daughter mother is my ex. Please stop saying that she's my ex. She's not, she's not my ex. She's the mother of my child. She's not my ex. We weren't a couple. We weren't together. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. So please stop labeling the situation as ex. You understand? I've done, I've done things in in the past. You know, I was never innocent. You know, I was never an innocent person. I, you know, I was. I've done things in the past, and I've, I got two beautiful children. Two beautiful children from you know my my past and i love them love them to death i take care of them fully they are not suffering or them not suffer my kids are quite fine my daughter was born in 2012 and you so why would it take eight years if i wasn't taking care of my 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 daughter if I was not there for my daughter, if I was not taking care of my daughter, why would it take eight years for anybody to say anything about it? When I heard, and I'm going to say heard because I heard over the radio that my daughter, that she was pregnant with my child. Over the radio. This was like four or five months down the line. And I'm not joking about this. I heard over the radio and I had to make a call and find out that she was pregnant with my child. When I found out, right then and there, I just I just went in in support mode. So I, I first thing I did, I told her to find an apartment, right? And she found an apartment. I was going to Europe. I pay. I I, I gave her money to pay for her apartment, pay for everything. Doctor fee. I have my friend. I asked my friend to drive her around with my car, drive her anywhere she want to go. Doctor, anywhere she want to go because I was excited. This was my first, my first child. I was excited, super excited. <coughs> right. Um. When my daughter was born, right. I bought a bought I bought her a car to drive drive my daughter around that car mash up i got another car i asked my friend firstly i asked my friend to teach her to drive right i asked him to teach her to drive so then we drive go wherever and learn to drive bought her a car pay all bills every month every month i pay rent Pay light water, I pay car insurance, buy gas put in a car, right? Everything. She wants to go back to college, I pay for her to go back to college, right? I pay all bills. Whatever she need, I give it to her. My daughter, and during this time, my daughter was always at my house. Always at my house. She would drop off my daughter here, she would go to school, do whatever she's doing, and then pick up, pick up. And you know, my, so my daughter was always here. My daughter ready to go to school. I pay my daughter school fee. I buy my daughter school clothes. Them. All my daughter had the clothes. Them and me buy me buy all all them clothes. Me shop for my daughter. Right? She want to go school. Me buy her school clothes. Me buy her school bag. Me buy everything. Me pay for her to go school. <coughs> So this been going going on for years and during this time there there, there was just a lot of verbal abuse like random messages to my phone you know calling me all sorts of names 
I ignore it. You understand? For years now, court was supposed to come in play for years now, but my, my mom keep telling me, don't go to court. It doesn't look good. Don't go to court. So I said, all right, fine. I'll leave this court thing. <coughs> I continue to support my daughter and my daughter mother for years. Continue during all this time. Like I said, we were never together. She was not uh, not my girlfriend. I was just doing this out of love for my daughter and the appreciation I had for her for, for having my daughter. So, like I said, this I've been doing this for years. Paying everything. She was never in need of anything. She, she never had to worry about anything. Whatever my daughter want, I would buy it. I would get it. I would pay for everything. 2017 now, everything changed. <coughs> the verbal abuse just got a bit too much. You then turn in a too much threat. Threaten not to, for me not to see my daughter again. That I act like a father and I'm not a father. Threaten to change my daughter's last name. And telling me that I've never done anything for my child. Never ever done nothing for my child. So I'm like, what? I've never done anything for my child? That don't make sense. No, this makes sense. Where is this coming from? Anyway, guys. So I cut back. I cut back when that when she made that statement that I was never taking care of of my child I was never there for not doing anything for my child I cut back cut back on everything I'm not going to go into details I was cut back on everything <clears throat> so we came to an agreement you know she came up with the figure with the amount of money that she wanted per month she said she want $25,000 a month so I gave her $25,000 a month half a school fee boom fine so this been going on for 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 a while and my daughter was practically living at my house during during all this time my daughter was living at pretty pretty much living at my house my daughter was at my parents house pretty much all the time right and I, and during this time i still buying clothes my wife always buy clothes for, for my daughter daughter was never in need of no clothes she was never she never had the need to buy no clothes for my daughter my daughter always have clothes my always have buy clothes buy way too much clothes buy clothes way big so she can grow in at them everything so my daughter was never in need of nothing <coughs> and i didn't come on here to, to to look like no fool but if i have to look like a fool to bring to put my point across then i will do it you understand this been going on for years it reached to a point where I can I cannot communicate with her. I could not communicate with her. So she started communicating through my wife. So she would text my wife, hey, I'm going to drop off my daughter now. Fine. Whatever she needs, she would text my wife. Because I could not have a conversation with her because it was too much disrespect that I couldn't deal with. It would it would it would be between my wife and my mom. She would text my mom. Or that she's gonna drop off my daughter, or text, or text my wife. If she don't get my wife, she texts my mom. So that's where the communication was. I was never communicating with her. <coughs> so, and like I said, my daughter practically lived at my house Monday to to Friday. Monday to Friday, I have my daughter. I take her to school. I pick her up from school, and then Friday, her mom would pick her up from school. And then drop her off back Sunday. So oh, all of this court thing came about. I'm gonna try and cut this right now. Just cut it, cut it right here. Because I can't bother up with talking about this this thing. And it kinda hurt me because even even my friends questioning the situation and they, they have been around and they know the situation and know everything. And it kinda cut me deep when you know I hear people people who around me you know question questioning the, the situation i mean yeah it don't look good but you know you know what 
what what I've been doing and you know you know everything and you shouldn't question question me. You understand? But people who know, they know. You get me? We're we're all at the start now. Last year in the COVID time. COVID time I gave her a child support. The day I gave her the child support, she took my daughter to my parents. Right? My daughter was at my parents for two weeks, two or three weeks. Then she went for my daughter, take her back after two or three days. Took her back to my parents after two or three days. Right? So, after she took her back to my parents, my daughter was there for practically two months. When she went back for my daughter, the next morning she took my daughter to my house because online schooling um, started so my daughter was at my house doing school monday to friday every week monday to friday then she asked me for child support so i said why do you need child support my daughter was at my parents all the time my daughter was at my house and my parents house why do you need child support you understand my my, the, 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 my daughter was at my parents with at the house that i provided for my parents and money that i provided for my parents you understand my parents was taking care of my daughter why do you need the child support and that's when everything start i'm going to take it to court i'm going to this and that and where right so when people say I don't take care of my daughter and I see all of this thing going on in media it kinda cut me deep. And I'm I'm just a, always a quiet person. I just I saw if I not go talk, so I may not say anything about him or me do whatever. Him not go say nothing. Him not go talk, him not go do anything. But if you guys believe I'm not I'm a deadbeat dad then continue to believe that. Whoever, all, my, all the loyal people who know facts and know the truth, you know, that's off to you. But I just wanted to put shed some light on this situation because, because that's been going on for too long. And I just can't bother with it. And people say the same thing about my son as well. You understand? My son lives with my parents. You understand? I take care of that entire household. You understand? I bought that house. I pay for I do everything. So when people my and, and my son has been living with my parents from him was one year old. Was one. From him a one. From before him can talk, from before him can walk. He has been living with my parents. And my parents was the one who offered to take care of him because I was my son was going to live with me and my mom said no you cannot manage him because you're going to be training you're going to be traveling all over the place so let us take care of him for you just let us take care of him for you so that's how my son lives with my parents so people people hate you for, for many reasons um people just dislike you for many reasons it is a strong word, so let me say dislike. People dislike you for many reasons. Maybe it's the way you talk. Maybe it's your success. Maybe um, your, how you look. Maybe nose too big. You know, for many reasons. People people just dislike you for many reasons. You understand? Um, for me, I don't know what it is. You know, but people... <coughs> people dislike you because you're going too perfect. You know? Um, I never tell anybody that I was perfect. You understand? People just assume that I'm perfect. You understand? And I don't want to be. I don't want to be perfect. You know. Um, let me just stop it right here, and you know, hope this open up a lot of people's eyes. Well, there you have it. That was international track and field star Asafa Powell giving his side of the story about a child maintenance issue that has been out there on social media for some years now and he actually took the time just in order to clear the air in relation to what has been said about him 
and what has been out there being portrayed of his life and how he deals with his child. But in relation to the matter, it is very clear that Asafa tried his very best to make sure that this child was well taken care of if what he's saying in the video is true. We have not heard the female side of the story, so I'm just going to state that categorically right now based on the fact that this is just his version of what is going on. But I don't doubt him to no extent. I don't doubt anything in his statement. I totally believe what he said in the video. And I believe that he tried his very best based on what was said in the video in order to take care of his child. But he just goes to show you how some females are and how they can manipulate the situation based on the fact that they know that you're financially stable and they just abuse the situation. In the video, he stated that he actually bought a car for her, pay for the car insurance, pay for the gas for the car, um, pay the female light bill, rent her an apartment, and it seemed as if that wasn't enough. Some males out there would not go to that extent. And when we look on what happened to this individual here, it just goes to show you that you can't please people. And once you're gonna try to please people, that's where you're gonna lose focus. But at the end of the day, he has tried his very best to take care of his daughter based on what people are portraying out there of this individual. One can remember that he has feelings, he's a human, and we can't go there just tarnishing people's name and reputation in that manner. But bless up yourself, Asafa Poil, much respect for putting this video out there. And I hope that people do share this video so it can reach the mass, just as how the negativity spread about the whole entire issue before this one came out. So I hope people share this video so the world out there can hear his side of the story and what he has been going through for the many years of his life and what has been portrayed out there of him on social media on a day-to-day -day basis. I believe I'm going to leave this one here for now though. Thanks for watching. This has been Link Sablo 7 tv Let's talk. Just drop it in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this story. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the Links TV family. This is where I say so long for now. Have a blessed and productive day.